In this video, I'm going to be putting my Mac Mini to the test. I will be running the 32 billion parameter version of DeepSeek R1, and I'm running this on my M4 Pro Mac Mini, which has got 24 gig of RAM. So that's the base model of the Mac Mini Pro. It retails for around £1,300 in the UK. I think it's around sort of $1,300, $1,400 in the US as well. So before I kick off, I just want to walk you through what I've got on screen. So on the left, top left hand corner, we've got the terminal. Um, I've not got anything open at the moment, but what I have got on screen is you can see I attempted to run the 70 billion parameter version. And whilst it technically ran, even to respond to a hello, it came back with a 27 minute response time. So I think it's it's not really a great use of uh, the Mac Mini Pro. 70 billion parameters is probably just a little bit outside of its capability. Um, but you know, if you really need to run that version of the model and you've got all day, uh, then by all means use it. It's a 43 gig download. I, I thought, yeah, 43 gig download. So it's not a small one, but you know, it definitely technically works, but I think the practical application is probably going to be limited. So instead I'll be using the 32 billion parameter distilled model. And by distilled, I mean it's deep seek, which is 671 billion parameters, I believe, the full version. Deep seek has trained other smaller models to be able to reason. And by reason, it kind of goes through this series of, oh, I think you need this, oh, I think you might need that, blah, 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 to answer the question. And that that kind of thinking process is what makes deep seek, deep seek really. Like I say, here we go, I've got a terminal on the left-hand side. Bottom left-hand side, I've got three prompt examples which put the model to the test. So it's a relatively complex question in terms of the subject matter but asking to make it simple the second one is um, a coding example so I found that in the smaller versions the the 1.5 billion parameters and the 7 billion parameters it struggles with coming up with prompt examples and tends to just come up with code examples but so we'll see how this one fares and then thirdly um, asking it to come up with the lyrics for a well-known pop song. So that's the left-hand side. On the right-hand side, we've got Activity Monitor, so we'll be able to see memory usage in this graph here, and then bottom right-hand side, we've got GPU usage. So I am going to run DeepSeek-R1 32 billion. take a little while to open up this has already been downloaded so I don't have to go through the hour or two to actually get the um, the the file downloaded onto my system and again I think that was maybe a 20 gig download right I just realized I hadn't turned on the verbose mode silly me and the reason why I want to do that is I want to get some metrics at the end. So once I've fast forwarded the, the video, you can see the outcome, how long it actually takes, what Olam is reporting back as the, the amount of time it took to complete the task. <laughs> I'll do that again this time. It's worth noting well, whilst this is completing that there is a little bit more pressure on the system than just deep seek running and that's because I'm using a um, quick time to record the screen so you will probably get slightly better results in terms of the time it takes to produce an output because unlikely you're going to be doing a screen recording so there we go one minute 40 seconds which I think is a a reasonable amount of time to complete the first task. The second prompt, ask it for examples. I think the interesting thing is it's 
used all of the physical memory and there's been some pressure on the memory over time so it's gone into the amber but it hasn't gone into the red for certainly not for any length of time and so that suggests to me along with the GPU getting quite heavily hammered for, for chunks of time that this is really at the top end of what a Mac Mini M4 Pro can comfortably do. You, you will find that there's a there's a sweet spot, and for me, I think this 32 billion parameter is there or thereabouts. Okay, so that's taken three minutes and 56 seconds. Now, interestingly, what it's done here is come up with a an answer which helps you create further code examples it's not exactly what I asked of it and I think this is one of those where you may have to run it once or twice to get or a few times to get the, the nature of the answer that you're after before I go and run the, the Beatles prompt I am going to exit out of this and re come back in and that's because in my previous experiments I found that it tends to err towards using Python to be able to somehow come up with the um, the, uh, the lyrics for a hard day's night and yeah it, it just it was not the answer that I was wanting because it's obviously trying to carry on the conversation so by exiting out and coming back in I've started a new conversation. This one I find very interesting because the language models are all trained on large sets of data and obviously you'd expect a hard day's night the lyrics to be in there however I find it has real trouble just coming up with the lyrics instead it starts to hallucinate some and we'll see some evidence of that and again i think if it could just go and search the internet and in in this setup i don't have it so it can do that it it comes up with the best it can do it's decided not to give me a hard day's night instead it's giving me a day in a life isn't it but there we go three minutes 25 of complete gobbledygook now if you want to test this setup and you've got a different Mac computer then have a look at this video over here.